What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to set up and use this new Samsung Gear S2 Classic. This is the 4G model. I have it activated under the T-Mobile network. $5 a month, unlimited plan. SIM card is actually built into the watch. You cannot switch it out unlike the Samsung S watch where you can actually take out the SIM card. Now I had the first generation Samsung S watch. It is amazing, great watch. It was $400 when it first came out. The price dropped down to 180 on Amazon. You go, um, I'll leave a link in the video description below for both watches if you're interested. Now, if I left my phone at home or if my phone died, it automatically forwarded all my calls to my Samsung S gear. And I was able to take calls. The speaker is loud, the microphone is sensitive, it's really good and the swipe texting was the best feature. So I didn't pay cash for this watch. It's $30 a month for 12 months. I got it for $350. Only thing you have to do is go to the Google Play Store and download the Samsung Gear app. All right, so once you go ahead and download that Samsung Gear app, that's gonna manage both of your watches. Make sure your Bluetooth is on and you're about a foot within range of the watch. All right, so next let's go ahead and open up the box. This is the watch. Let's pull it out right here. It comes with a leather band, genuine leather. This is a 20 millimeter band, so you can't switch it out with other bands, watch bands at Walmart or Target, Macy's, and then you go pull down right here and switch out the bands. Uh, here's the sensors for your heart rate, so the dial is for navigation if you don't want to touch the screen. I mean, of course, you can swipe left and right to navigate too. Right here's the microphone. This is waterproof, just like the other watch. Uh, right here is the speaker. It is a little bulky, but honestly, once you have it on your wrist, it doesn't feel that way. This is fairly light. And the leather band makes it pretty light. Once you put a metal band on it, it gets pretty heavy. For me, I think this watch feels lighter for some reason. And it's probably because it's all plastic and rubber. Whereas this is metal right here. So there's a little bit of weight on the watch face. So let's go ahead and remove this right here. And it comes with a larger band. So, or smaller band actually. So it comes in two different sizes. And I got the dot, um, charging adapter right here and the charging dock, and it's also micro USB. So to charge this, you just go ahead and line it up perfectly, and press, and now it's charging. You use the same cable, and you go ahead and set it up just like that. The red indicates that it's charging. That red light will turn, I think, blue or green, and it'll let you know when it's done charging. All right, so let's go ahead and turn it on. There's two buttons on the side. You wanna hold down the bottom button and that turns that on right here. Now the battery life on this watch is a full day. The battery life on this watch is a day and a half. And the screen size, you can tell it's a big difference. If you're into functionality over style, the Samsung S watch, the first generation, might be more up your alley. This is, I, the reason why I got this watch is because it's style and functionality, but I find that the first generation, it was more functionality than style. All right, so I was telling you to download the app, which we did already. And let's go ahead and go to manage devices and it's gonna start scanning. So now it recognized the Gear S2. Let's go ahead and turn off this watch so if you have your first generation, you wanna power that down, okay? And let's go ahead and activate the Gear S2. And hit okay. And it says connecting, connecting. There it goes. And let's go ahead and check mark that, check mark, and hit okay. And it's gonna ask me, receive notifications from all of these. My te well, my incoming call, yes. My text messaging, yes. My email, yes. All right, hit okay. All right, there we go. I got my first message. <laughs> it was funny. 
Uh, my happy Father's Day. All right, cool. And so you could turn that dial up and down. If the message was longer, you could use the dial to read the whole entire message. To go back, you hit um, this button right here. All right, so anytime that you want to connect a um, Bluetooth headset to this watch and not your phone, you want to leave the phone home, you could do so. Just swipe down, click on music. You can click on the three dots on the right and you can shuffle your music, repeat, add your favorites, and listen via Bluetooth. Let's click on that. And it's scanning right now. So let's go ahead and put this in search mode. Uh, hold this down, wait until it, it rotates. There you go, blue, red, blue, red. And hit scan. And now it should be scanning. There it is. It just recognized it. Hit ring. And it is pairing right now. There you go. So here's the default watch face right here. It tells me my battery life, which is about 70%, my steps. And I can hold that down, click on style, and customize that and make it its interactive watch face, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and go to the right. You change the hands out and battery. I want to leave that steps. Let's say you don't care about your steps. You could change it to how many glasses of water you had, your settings, notification. Let's do notifications and hit OK. There we go. So click on battery, it tells you your battery. Swipe down, click on notifications, it tells you your all your notifications. So this, if you want to switch that watch face out, you can do so. Here's a bunch of them. All right, so let's go ahead and go through some of the functions. So I swipe to the, um, on the left side, there's all my notifications. Swipe again to the right, there's my watch face. Swipe over, there's my uh, weather, uh, my events, my calendar events, my steps, my heart rate, Here's my music, click on that. All right, so let's add a widget right here. And I'm gonna add my apps right here, click on that. And so now I have my S voice and my settings and my buddy list and all my apps. Let's go ahead and move that. I'm going to hold it down and I want to move it all the way to the first one, my first widget. There we go. So now, once I swipe to the right, then I have all my apps, my buddy list, my settings, and my S voice. When I swipe down from up, nothing. When I swipe up from down, there's my Bluetooth. Um, my brightness settings, my my vibration mode. I can have that um, do a beep alert or vibration. I have it set on vibration. I don't want it beeping all the time. I watch that'd be really annoying. So let's go ahead and go to settings and go to display. Watch always on. Let's go ahead and activate that. All right, my notifications. I have that set on. My brightness. I have it set on, I set it at 50%. And back. Uh, screen timed out, 15 seconds. And I could change the font. So I'm gonna change it to, I usually choose jazz. Looks cool. All right, hit back. There's my sound mode right here. I have it on vibration. And you have, uh, you can put it on sound, but it may annoy a lot of people around you. Click on device. I have my double press on my home key to my last app, but I can actually set it to whatever I want. I'm gonna set it to my S voice. There you go. Let's go to calls. Here's my call forwarding. I agree to um, the charges and hit OK. 
I have my call forwarding turned on and then I have to type in my gear watch number. All right, to activate your smartwatch as a independent device, first thing you wanna do is you wanna go on your phone, turn off the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, any communication link that is connected to the watch. All right, once you do that, you can swipe down and it should change from Bluetooth to T-Mobile. All right, so that's how you know that it's right now independent. So next thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to your T-Mobile app or your Verizon app and then call them. Call Activate phone. All right, so when you're calling T-Mobile, they're gonna ask for the ID for this watch. And then choose settings. Go all the way down to gear info about device. Scroll down to IC, CID. Give them that number and then they'll be able to activate your smartwatch phone. Connections. And then mobile network and make sure that is on auto on and off. And then you could go to call right here. And then you could select call forwarding, turn on call forwarding. Then you can make a phone call. Just click on your buddy list and let's try and then click on a phone number and test it out and see if it works. Yep, so it's not being redirected to T-Mobile, so it's working. You also have voice answer. I'm gonna have that actually turned off. And let's go to messages. Um, Amber alerts and stuff like that. See? Or severe alerts, I guess weather. And spam filters, so I could put my spam numbers in here and it actually would block any kind of annoying phone calls. Uh, connections, I got my Bluetooth obviously turned on. I have my mobile networks. Uh, it's on, you should have it on auto and it is, uh, I believe 4G and 3G, it's both. And it has built-in Wi-Fi. It has NFC. And if you're on airplane, you can activate the airplane mode right here. And it has built-in GPS. You have screen lock, so if someone well, finds your watch or steals your watch, it would actually lock them out. And you just have to set up your pin. Uh, here's the input settings for your keyboard. And let's go to keyboard settings. Uh, three by four keyboard right here. Or if you want to switch that, you could do that as well. Click on that and go to rotary keyboard. That's when you use the, the dial to, to you know do your text messaging. So I'm gonna go ahead and text someone right now. Hit that button twice. Text Dominic, don't forget to eat breakfast and brush your teeth. Here's your message. Ready to send it. Yes. So let's go ahead and double tap on this home button to activate the S voice. Call Dominic. It's calling right now my son's phone. Let's see. Hello? 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 Testing. 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 One, two. Let's go ahead and put it on my wrist right here. And it feels pretty comfortable on my wrist. It doesn't really, it doesn't feel too big. So let's go ahead and put my S gear first generation on and compare it to my new watch, the S2 watch. This is more of a executive style, office style watch. This is more of a sport watch. Now if you hit the home button once, it'll bring you to all your apps and you can just turn your dial back and forth to go through all your apps. I find that pretty convenient and smart and you can hear the clicking. Now, if I was gonna text someone, it is a little bit clunky, and they could have done a better job doing the text messaging. So I'm gonna just go ahead and click on the text messaging. You could do your tw 
very quick text. So these are just short prompts that I could just send out right away. You're welcome, no problem, within five minutes, can't talk now, text me, stuff like that. I could do the voice, obviously I could do the voice texting, emojis, click on emojis. Um, you go to the keyboard and there's a couple different styles. Now, I don't like the how they use the dial for this. And, you know, every time I turn the dial, it gives me a combination of five letters. I think it would have been smarter for them to do is have the whole entire alphabet wrapped around the dial. So every time I turn the dial, it'll come up to the top, the letter I want to choose. And let's go ahead and change that. So let's go and click on that. And then we're going to change click on the gear right here and oh, I hate when it does that. I'm gonna have to turn that off. So every time you say hi Samsung or hi gear it actually activates the S voice. I'm gonna actually turn that off. That's a really annoying voice wake up. I'm gonna turn that off. There you go. So I won't do that again hopefully. Alright so I'm gonna go to uh, 3 by 4 keyboard and these are the only options they really give you. Let's go ahead and back. So I'm gonna do it my text messaging now. And this is like just crappy in my opinion. So I have ABC, you have to tap on that like a couple times to go through all the letters. That's really annoying. I don't like it. And turn the dial, get to your numbers, emojis. For me, they need the swipe texting would have been nice. I understand the screen is too small for that. I like I miss my swipe texting on my first generation watch. Now the app I use the most, I have to say, is Milk. I have Bluetooth on my uh, car radio, and when I select Milk, then I can actually play my Milk um, internet radio through my car radio using the Bluetooth feature. First generation watch has it is Find My Gear, and it works both ways. You can find your watch uh, or you can find your phone. So if you lose your watch, your phone can find your watch or your watch can find your phone and you go to find my phone click on that hit start and there you go and you can put all your music on your watch and go jogging and listen to your um, music on your bluetooth headset so you can leave your phone at home put all your music on your watch and to do so only thing you have to do is send content right here and you can select your tracks and just right here I can select all these tracks and hit done and it's gonna send all my pictures or all my I could even auto sync it but it's gonna send all that data to my watch and then I can connect a Bluetooth headset to my watch and go jogging and leave my phone at home and here's my gear settings if you want to reset it and send it back to where you uh, bought it or if you're selling it, here's this is how you reset it. Now, there's a couple ways to reset this device or reboot it. You can hold the power button down and turn it off that way or enter airplane mode or power save mode. Those are shortcuts. Or you could actually hold down the power button for about 10 seconds and it'll go into reboot mode. And that's just in case you're um, your Samsung Gear S2 is acting funny or it's frozen. All right, to customize your quick messages or quick replies, you go to the Gear app, and then you go to Settings, and then you go to your quick messages and call reject messages. You can change those. Now, if someone's texting you, you could go to your general me messages and you could change your quick replies or you could delete them. If you want to add one, you just enter your custom text and hit the plus symbol. You can program the home button using the phone app as well. All right, now if you want to download an app to your watch, you want to go to the app store. So go to top free. And Milk Music is, looks like everyone's favorite. It's rated number one. It's my favorite actually. So you just click on watch face, just like that. So I want to hold it down and see if it's there. And let's go all the way over. 
there it is. And there's my custom watch face right here. So let's go check out the fitness app right here. You click on that and this is where you can start running, working out. It says three, two, one, and it's gonna record your workout. My target is at 30 minutes and right here it tells me my heart rate. You wanna check out your steps, they're right here. It tells you um, your steps daily. See, Wednesday, Tuesday. And my goal is set at 6,000. And one of my favorite game apps is Crush Words. It's kind of, it's a word search game. And you just look for the words hidden in the puzzle and swipe. If you found this video informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you know anyone interested in getting a smartwatch and you want to share this video to them, just click on the share button below and subscribe to Tampa Tech.